Citizens of Bournemouth, we are the Enough is Enough protest. We are against knife crime. If you are against knife crime, stand with us. These people who wear masks, these people who look like they don't belong, they call you Nazi for being against knife crime. It makes no sense. We are here saying enough is enough to knife crime, and the gentleman in the hat has just called me a Nazi. This isn't about me. This isn't about him. We are trying to end knife crime, and he has just called me a Nazi. These are far left tactics to try and silence you. Now, seeing as he wants to be made famous, let's have a look at his sign. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at his sign. Migrants make our NHS. How many of you have had a loved one in care, being cared for by someone who couldn't speak English? It made them feel uncomfortable. They didn't like it. They were frightened. Why does this man hate British people so much? What is he saying? Is he saying that British people can't be carers? Is he saying that British people can't be doctors? Who thinks we need to import more people from various parts of the world who have murderous intent on our Christian brothers and sisters? Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Roberts was 21, a Marine. He was stabbed to death by an illegal invader in Bournemouth. The man was an illegal immigrant. He was an Afghani illegal immigrant. He was granted asylum after lying about his age. He said he was 14 years old. He was 19 and on the run after having been identified as the man involved in the death of two people in Serbia. He crossed multiple countries illegally and was already convicted of murder and he killed Thomas Roberts, a Marine in Bournemouth, by stabbing him to death. How many more have to die before enough is enough? Citizens of Bournemouth, approach this man. Ask him questions. Make up your own mind. What do these people stand for? They call us Nazis. They call us far right. For what? Why? We live in lawless Britain. Our men have become emasculated. We are easy prey. Predators exist. It is strong men who can stand up to the epidemic plaguing Britain that is knife crime. We need stronger policing. More bodies on the beat. We need tougher sentences. If you carry a knife, you're going to prison. Five years mandatory. We must stop the epidemic of knife crime. We must stop the emasculation and feminization of men. Fathers, teach your children self-defense. Teach your children martial arts and how to box. Teach your children about respect and about discipline and about duty to protect innocence and defend at all times. The epidemic of knife crime in Britain is real. How many people, how many more must be slain in the name of diversity, inclusion and equality, ladies and gentlemen? It is time, patriots, time to take back our country. Our streets are no longer safe. Everyone lives in fear of being a victim of a random knife crime or random knife attack. Last night on the news, two young boys, 15 and 16 years old, it has been confirmed. Five people have gone to jail for murder. The two boys involved in Bristol were nothing to do with the attack. They were nothing to do with the retribution. They were nothing to do with the incident. They were hacked to death by five men with machetes and zombie knives. Whose child will be next? Whose father will be next? Whose son? Whose daughter?
Bloodsport. Those three little angels were slain. They were slain by a knife-wielding maniac. How many more have to die before enough is enough? You cannot blame the government for everything. We must take personal responsibility. That means standing up to the communists who want open borders and who delight in the blood of our youth being spilled. These people, ladies and gentlemen, they are communist parasites. They want open borders. How many more illegal invaders must we tolerate who have lethal intent on our Christian brothers and sisters? Ask them questions. Citizens of Bournemouth, ask them the question. How many more need to die? How much more blood needs to be shed in the name of diversity, inclusion and equality? Ladies and gentlemen of Bournemouth, if you stand against knife crime, stand with us. We are a protest saying no to knife crime. But we have more than one issue. We have a counter-protest here. This is what the far left in Britain looks like. These are communist parasites who want open borders. The left always travel in numbers. They are not strong on their own. For too long we have not stood together. If you stand against knife crime, stand on the right side of history. You do not want communists who want open borders in your towns and cities. These people want anarchy. They delight in the blood of our youth being spilt. They are indoctrinated and brainwashed to hate their country by Marxists. Common sense says no to knife crime. Enough is enough. It is time to rid our nation of communist parasites. It is time to stand up for truth and for justice. Say no. No to far left propaganda. No to their hateful divisive rhetoric. In what world, what sane person could be for knife crime? We stand against knife crime. And they call us far right. They are deranged. These people are communist parasites. We are taking our country back, ladies and gentlemen. Our children are no longer safe to walk the streets of Britain. And these people want open borders.